If you are running a website as a service network, one of the most powerful features you can offer to your customers is the ability to point their custom domain names to their subsites. In this tutorial, we're going to set up WP Ultimo's domain mapping feature to automatically sync domain names with WPMU Dev's multi-site hosting. Let's get started. Here we are on the WordPress dashboard of a multi-site WordPress installation with WP Ultimo already installed. If you're not starting from here, check my description. I have a full WP Ultimo tutorial that will walk you to this step. If you are here, great. Let's get started by going to WP Ultimo and then going to settings. Next, click domain mapping. Now, a lot of this is great just from default. We want to enable domain mapping, obviously, but you could shut this off if you wanted to. And then you have an option for the um, admin redirect. Now, we've got some notes here that tell you exactly what's going to happen, but I'll go ahead and say that in words. Um, your options are you can allow them to access the admin by both map domain and network domain or you can force redirect to map domain. So if they put their own custom domain name, when they go to admin, it's gonna show their custom domain name, or you can force redirect to network domain, which means that even if they have a mapped domain, it's still gonna show the network domain. Next, we have the option to enable custom domains. And this is again, probably something you wanna turn on, but I do wanna note that this is also an option you can set on the product level, on the plan level. So for example, if you had like a free plan and you didn't want people to use custom domains, if they had the free plan, you didn't want to allow that, that's how you would be able to control that. And then if you scroll down, you have um, instructions to add a new domain. And this is what your customers will see when they are in their account, adding their domain name on their own. So a little tip, what I personally like to do here is I like to do a little uh, video tutorial showing them exactly how to do that and then link to the video tutorial. Well, you can't, you can't do HTML here, but you can put the YouTube link here and then they can get a video walkthrough, which is really, really helpful um, if your customers aren't really tech savvy. So when you're done here, just go ahead and click save settings if you change anything. So the next thing we have to do is integrate our hosting provider. So go to integrations down here. And I use WPMU Dev Hosting, um, which if you followed my uh, setup tutorial, you probably are using it too. It syncs the domains automatically and sets up SSL automatically. And I'm sure a lot of these other hosts do also, but I, I use WPMU Dev, so we're going to click configuration next to that one. Obviously, click configuration next to the host you're using. And for WPMU Dev, this is what comes up and it says what the integration is going to do. So then I'm gonna click activate. And now it is uh, testing the integration and yay, everything worked good. So then we're gonna click continue. And now we're ready, that's it, very, very easy. Um, we're gonna click finish. And now there's gonna be two ways that you can map custom domains. You can map them from super admin uh, by clicking on domains and then clicking create a new domain. And then you would put the custom domain name right here. Uh, you would pick which site to apply it to. You would choose the stage. You probably wanna keep it at checking DNS. So um, the host and WP Ultimo can do what they have to do automatically. And then you could set it as a primary domain, which you probably want to do. When that's done, click add existing domain. As long as you allowed it in the settings, your customers can also connect their domain names on their own. Since this network that I'm doing the tutorial on is a brand new network and doesn't have any subsites yet, I'm gonna pop onto my old one to show you how to do that. So things are gonna look a little different. Okay, so when your customer logs in, they're gonna see something like this. They're gonna have an account on the left-hand side. So click account. And this has a bunch of their account information. If you scroll down, you're going to see a domain section. Click the add domain button. And then here are the same instructions that you set in the settings, except now it's actually showing what your IP address is and the rest of the instructions. 
They're told to change their DNS settings on their um, domain registrar and then to click the next step. And then from there, they can put in their domain name and then check to make it primary and then click add domain. After that's done, you'll be able to check that domain status in the network admin by going to, uh, signed in as a super admin by going into WP Ultimo and domains. And here you'll be able to see all the domain names um, registered on your network and what sites they're attached to and the stage, if they're ready or if they're not, like if this says DNS failed, that means your customer or you did the DNS wrong and you need to fix that. You can also test with WP Ultimo if you're using them as hosting. You can sign into your hub, go into that website that your network is on, and then go under hosting, go to domains, and here you'll also be able to see the DNS status and the SSL status of those domain names. Personally, to be extra safe, I still like to test the domain name in an incognito window just to make sure everything is working okay, including the SSL certificate. And that's it. Now your customers can map their custom domain names to their subsites. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you're building your own website, make sure to check the description to get a free download of my nine-step do-it-yourself website roadmap. Um, it will guide you through everything you need to do to make and launch your website from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.